start the video log here. That's right. What is it? Saturday, May 23rd. So we're heading to Catalina after a couple of months of not going anywhere. Heading to uh, Catalina Harbor to Wells Beach. So we've got uh, Connie and Eddie G. <laughs> we've we've got enough uh, food and beer and other booze to get us at least to Hawaii, if not uh, American Samoa. So I think we're in pretty good shape. It's gonna be light winds today. It's supposed to be southeast, mostly in the morning, shifting to west. I think there's already some west in the wind. It's, it's 10.30, so it might be a little bit early. We'll try and put up the main, but it's gonna be light winds. It's not gonna do much. Uh, 10 to 15 later in the afternoon, uh, coming out of the west, so it's gonna shift. Um, we'll be motoring into that, so we won't really be sailing much. All right, 33, I think. 32, 33 gallons of fuel. We are full. Jankovic uh, fuel dock. Just watch the uh, the bow, if you would, as we're coming out. Put a little more heat on it. All right, 11.04, and we are fueled up. It was a piece of cake. Yeah. All right, the temperature alarm just went off. Uh, smelled something. We're pumping water, but uh, this is this looks like coolant, and it's. Uh, we're gonna let this air out. It's not smoke, so that's a good sign. Go ahead and open up the hatch here. It's not a Jeez. I'm gonna figure out what the hell's going on. I wanna see if I can get some air in here. A couple of. Uh, here that's coolant on the ground this wasn't like a like a little deal it sprayed the entire engine compartment now the question is going to be where is it coming out of I don't see All right, a little steamy in there. Let's see what the heat gun has to say about this. Thirteen, fourteen, one eighty-two up here. All right, I guess we we'll start sealing back and then uh, I'll let it cool off a little bit. While it's doing that, since we're down the water, we'll get a we'll get ready to sail and then. Uh, and we'll see what we get. Uh, lost all our coolant, so the engine's off. We got the main up, and we're heading back into shore. Um, I'm not sure how we lost the coolant, but I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to sail back and figure it out. Figure it out. Probably we'll have to call Towboat US and have them tow us in. The uh, freshwater pump. And if you kind of look at all this uh, soot and stuff like that, and it's a metal fitting valve. Uh, let me see if I can get a little light on it right here. Um, confident that that's where we sprung a leak, and then it just shot all the coolant out. This is not something I'm going to get fixed during daylight. Towboat US, towboat US, keel dragger, keel dragger. Uh, negative, not in immediate danger. Roger, 78 Alpha. Channel 
Tell what you asked. This is Kill Dragger. We're about uh, 10 miles or so out of uh, San Pedro. Over. Total US, uh, my coordinates are 33 degrees, 36 decimal 719 north, 118 degrees, 23 decimal 507 west. How copy? Copy, kill dragger seven by. Yeah, Avalon's uh, actually a little further away. It's kill dragger over. This is Kill Dragger on 78 Alpha. Kill Dragger, Kill Dragger, Avalon, this is Kill Dragger on 78. Over. My position is 33 degrees, 36 decimal. 8-0 north, 118 degrees, 23 decimal, 4-6 west. How copy? Roger, position is 33 degrees, 36 decimal, 8-2 north, 118 degrees, 2-8 decimal, 4-4 west. Kill Dragger to 1 6. Captain, it's actually stand by on the channel. I have you loud and clear right now. What's your position? Repeat your position. Roger. Position is 3 3 degrees, 36 decimal 8 north, 1 1 8 degrees, 23 decimal 4 2 west. Real shit. Okay, Roger, that's fair. What's a good phone number for you? One more. Kill Dragger standing by. Roger, vessel Kill Dragger. We're going to have a. Uh... Tubbo US, I uh, did not copy. Over. Tubbo US, Kill Dragger, uh, you were breaking up on me. Over. Copy that. Kill Dragger standing by. So it looks like we're getting about four knots speed over ground right now. Yeah. Under the main, which is nice. Yep. Right here. So we're just kind of getting into the shipping lanes. I don't see any other boats. No ships, uh, uh, traffic to be concerned with right now in the shipping lanes. And then uh, we're getting about three and a half to uh, the high threes knots speed over ground. I'm seeing four. Um, we've got the wind, looks like it's coming uh, pretty heavy at the beam. So we could put some more sail area up and pick up some more speed, but we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and cruise on impulse power and wait till Tubbo US gets back to it. This is Kill Dragger on 7 1. Are you uh, in need of a tow at this time? 
Yeah, I am. I am going to be needed in need of a tow. We're headed back to San Pedro, so we're. Uh, I think we're about nine and a half or so miles out in the shipping lanes right now. Um, have a uh, an engine issue, so we're under sail and we're uh, we're heading back under sail. No immediate danger. Um, we're making about three knots back, um, but we'll need a tow as we get closer into. Uh, there into our slip if we can arrange that. Hey, Roger, that's a good copy. Are you a member of Boat US? Uh, I am. Correct. Okay, real good. Do you have your membership number on hand by any chance? Yeah, from uh, from memory, memory uh, two. I hope that's correct. Hey, Roger, you said. Is that correct? Uh, affirmative, that's correct. Okay, and what's the last name uh, under your membership? Last name is... Roger, stand by one here. Here I thought we were just going to have a nice, uh, pleasant motor sale the rest of the way to Catalina. This kind of escalated quickly. Yeah, that's, that's how those <laughs> are. Alright, 2.30, we've got an ETA of... 15.10, uh, 3.10 p.m. We're uh, got the head sail out, and we're doing what? Five and a half five over and ground. Half five and a half to six over ground. <laughs> so, uh, good news is we don't have the wind on our nose anymore. <laughs> we're having a pretty nice sail. The bad news is, is it's been kind of a shit show without the engine. So. When they go to, um, I can help them hook up, or you can either do the bow or I can when they get here. Uh, if possible, I want to try and put the lines through the, the housers up there. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if they have a bridle. Bridle would be preferred so it doesn't put all the strain on the, on the same, um, on the same cleat. I was I was tempted to tell him just to meet us there by um, Angel's Gate, but my concern is because it's Memorial Day weekend. Right. Was we I'm like when we're ready. Well, I just wanted to get him dispatched sooner versus later, yeah. so we're not screwing around and, right. and waiting for others and stuff like Absolutely. that. Well, it said 1510 um, what was the ETA. We picked up a little bit of speed, so we're also closing pretty good ground. Yeah. Steady six and a half, almost seven knots, according to Eddie G. an 8.2 apparent wind but we've got a lot of wind kind of um, it's pretty hard on the on the beam just slightly after that so we got a pretty good reach um, probably trim the main a little bit better but we're making pretty good speed I'm not going to screw with it ironically the best sailing we've had since the boat's been up since from Mexico. Yeah. Which is pretty hilarious. Rescue operation play 252. 
We got here pretty quick, actually. We're hove two mains down. We'll get tied up, and then we'll pull the we'll furl the head sail. Yeah, he's got the ASIM up. There's another spin, uh, boat up there. They might be doing a little bit of a race. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few boats back there. Well, these guys are probably in first place. They're not going to get out of the way. No. We got the bridle hooked up. Steering is centered. He's going to take us into our slip, and uh, he'll do. A, he'll tie up uh, on the do a hip tie up on the port side as we get into our slip, and then uh, then we'll be done. Glad there aren't any ships in the shipping lane. That's the biggest one of the day. Right <laughs> yeah. So meanwhile, while we're screwing around. There's a ship in the shipping lanes. So what would we have done if we couldn't get a hold of any towing services? Well, I mean, sail back as far as we could. Probably, uh, we wouldn't have been able to sail back to our slip, but yeah. we could have we could we have sailed close. into the basin and we would have anchored out there. Yeah, we could, we, anchor, we could have anchored close enough. Just in front of this trimaran, so it'll be the third entrance. Okay, this so is behind the, the one with the green canvas. Yes. I'm thinking I'm just going to call the mechanic. 